These pike have been fed up on trout for decades. There's only about four people who are allowed to fish this place. And luckily, I'm the fifth today. I mean, oh, I am so excited about this. Yeah, 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 <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy, you haven't even set off yet. No. Can't say exactly where I am today because this is a private farm lake that I am so lucky to be able to fish. I'm just walking down through these woods now. I'm going to meet a couple of guys down there who very kindly offered to take me out. This place used to be a trout fishery until the farmer cancelled the lease a few years ago and there is loads of big fish. These guys are catching quite a few 20 pounders and upper doubles on the regular. Well it sounds like a very windy day today. I believe the first half of the day we're going to be fishing from the shore and the second half of the day we're going to get out on the boat. Not just any boat, let me show you it now, it is so cool. There you go, that's going to be our ride for this evening. Cannot wait for that. This is such a cool spot, I mean, an old abandoned fishing club house, that is cool. So just quickly talking you through my setup, I'm using the Rigged and Ready Predator. This is a, um, a rod with two different tips, I'm going to be starting off with the 10 to 30 gram tip and then moving over to the 20 to 80 gram tip later. So this is the one I'm starting with, it's suspending, nice shiny roachy pattern. This water's quite clear apparently and there are roach in here so headbanger shad. I've got a big box full of headbangers, I've got the cranky shads, some top water spitfires. I'm really going to be putting these through their paces today and hopefully landing some decent fish on them. So this is the path is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we're starting things off today just through all of this on an old jetty which is exciting. Okay, is the actual jetty secure? Yeah. So it's just this bit here that might collapse yeah, under me. And, and I wouldn't go too much in the middle but we've had three people in it. having my first few casts off this jetty now really excited for today i really hope some some big fish come along what a beautiful place though those islands have you had a few big ones off this jetty then have you you had a, you had 20, didn't you? a 20. Wow, now we've come around that corner, this lake's a lot bigger than yeah. I thought it was. This rigged and ready predator rod is absolutely sending this out there. Surely it's only a matter of time, there's three of us fishing. I do think the best time of day is going to be in the evening on the boat where we can get right up along some of these tree lines, but it'd be great to get off to, the, uh, to a good start this morning. gonna wave. That's really nice tractor Alfie. It's always fun isn't it whacking your way through a few trees and stuff to get down to a, a spot. So we've just stopped for a little lunch and I thought before we headed out on the boat I'd just take a look around this clubhouse, look through some of the catch returns just because I'm curious about that kind of thing. Just to give you a bit of context, this place was never allowed to be fished for pike, just trout. But there was a 29 and a half pound pike caught on a nymph in here. So um, yeah, they do get big and hopefully we're going to come across one of those later. That's really cool. What was that just under in one of the cupboards or something? Yeah, just found that in the cupboard. Does this kind of boat have a name? I feel like I've. I feel like they've got a name. A punt. A punt. Ooh. Oh, 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 look. Look, right here, right here, right in front of you. Right, 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 right in front of us. What, a small two, one or a big one? From the boat. How big is it? Look, look, look. You see it, do you? Look. He's just coming up for rocks, do you? He's right here. He's literally right here. 
Yes, 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 you've got him, you've got him. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy, you haven't even set off yet. No. <laughs> I just looked up and I was like, there's a pike. <laughs> <laughs> Still hooked up to the jetty, look at this. Oh Can't even set off yet. <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. It's ridiculous, isn't it? I couldn't believe it. I just turned around and went, there's a pike there. <laughs> Weird, uh, that's one of the strangest things I've seen pike fishing. <laughs> yeah, I, I did a little, little just did a, did a yeah. little song and I, and I sort of raised him, brought him in. <laughs> yeah. It's, like you had, it's almost like you had it ready waiting for yeah, me. Exactly. I disappear. Coaxed him in. I disappear for, for a quick bit of lunch and I come back and you've prepared a pike for me right next to the boat. So there we go, first fish of the day and it's quite a good sized pike. I mean, by the standards of this lake, from what I've heard, that they do get a lot bigger than this, but what a nice bonus fish straight after lunch and right next to the boat. Let's get it back. Well, as far as pike guiding goes, it doesn't come much easier than that, no. does it? <laughs> yeah, once we get you in the boat, it'll become much easier. They just come to us. <laughs> So for those of you that are interested, that was on the headbanger cranky shad in a nice sort of silver natural roachy pattern. I feel like I should be helping more. No, don't <laughs> worry, no, no, we're good. no, we thought it's just easier if just we're rowing this end. Yeah. No, we, we are your guides and rowers <laughs> uh, for the day. <laughs> so much fun fishing on a boat, isn't it? So we've been fishing and fishing for ages in the more deeper water, sort of using jig heads and stuff. I've gone through pretty much everything in my box. We're gonna try now and just target some of the shallower areas around the edge and hope there's just something sat off the margin. So what I'm gonna go for now is my lucky headbanger shad. I've used quite a few different patterns, but this brown one, it means a lot to me. I've had some nice ones on this before. If anything's gonna do it today, surely it's gotta be this. Well, it's a nice life getting rowed around everywhere. I feel a bit like I'm on the canals of Venice. We're within casting range. Fish on, fish on. Oh yes, come on. I knew it had to happen at some point. It had to, it bloody had to, it's three of us fishing. Oh, it might have taken me into the weeds a bit. Oh, careful, it's coming round. Doesn't, unless I've got a load of weed on this, it doesn't feel like a bad fish. On my lucky headbanger too. Hey. Come on. Oh yeah. Yes. Come on. Right. Well, this is the uh, the first proper fish of the day so pleased after all these hours of casting and casting away today. Well, it's a shame we couldn't get any of the really big ones to bite today. We fished on for hours and hours with nothing. As always, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll be back here again soon.